because today we'll be reading The Postmaster's Cat by Julie Fox. And I just love stories about cats. This one is about a cat named Matt, who is a tad on the fat side and serves as a helper to the postmaster at the post office. And without further ado, sit back and relax. Rest your head, your nose and your toes. Open your eyes and open your ears. Put on a smile and enjoy the show. The postmaster's cat was a tad on the fat side. His name was Matt. He sat there with a bright red collar that said, The Post Office, Official Helper Cat. His duties? Warning the local brood of mice and rats to leave parcels of cheese and bread alone by putting on them the stickers, do not eat, and for human consumption only. One day, Mrs. Pat, the elderly lady from the flat above the shop, came in to post a parcel for Ted, her cheese-loving brother. In her parcel, Mrs. Pat had Roquefort, Camembert, Chèvre, Feta, Mozzarella, Emmental, Cheddar, Gouda, Parmigiano, Monterey Jack, and a crisp, airy baguette. Mrs. Pat was wearing a straw hat, flowery dress, and rose pink flats. Mrs. Pat's handbag had pink cats stitched on it. Matt, who sat there with his bright red collar that said, The post office official helper cat, woke up from his nap and twitched his nose, trying to sniff the contents of the parcel for Ted, Mrs. Pat's cheese loving brother. As soon as Matt realized that Mrs. Pat's parcel contained the most desirable product the local brood of mice and rats might possibly dream of eating, he stuck two red stickers, do not eat, and for human consumption only, on the parcel, and then settled back for his nap. As soon as the postmaster processed the parcel containing Roquefort, Camembert, Chèvre, Feta, Mozzarella, Emmental, Cheddar, Gouda, Parmigiano, Monterey Jack, and a crisp airy baguette, and place it in the large sack behind his chair, the local brood of mice and rats twitched their noses right and left, and realized that the most desirable snack they could possibly dream of was just a tail length away. Roquefort, Camembert, Chèvre, Feta, Mozzarella, Emmental, Cheddar, Gouda, Parmigiano, Monterey Jack, and a crisp airy baguette smelled so good that it was just too much for the poor rodents to bear. Three mice and two rats slowly crawled towards the parcel and made a hole in the box, out of which they sneaked. Roquefort, Camembert, Chèvre, Feta, Mozzarella, Emmental, Cheddar, Gouda, Parmigiano, Monterey Jack, slice by slice, and of course, a crisp, airy baguette. Oh no, how did Matt the post office official helper cat miss such a terribly wicked theft which happened right under his nose? or rather behind his back. Well, you see, our dear Matt was a tad on the fat side, and as he sat on the postal counter, and most days he did just that, he took up all the space there was, so he could hardly move his head, or tail or paws for that matter, to see what the local brood of mice and rats was up to. So, two days later, Mrs. Pat's cheese-loving brother Ted received a parcel that had two stickers, do not eat and for human consumption only, and inside had only colourful wrappings, the dried out crumbs of a stolen baguette and a card that said, 
Dear Ted, I hope this parcel finds you in fine health, merry spirits, and a good appetite for Roquefort, Camembert, Chèvre, Feta, Mozzarella, Emmental, Cheddar, Gouda, Parmigiano, Monterey Jack, and a crisp, airy baguette I put together for you. Your loving sister, Pat. Ted was, of course, very disappointed. He wrote a very angry note to the post office, which in turn told off the postmaster, who in turn told off Matt, the post office official helper cat, who in turn told off the brood of mice and rats, who twitched their whiskers, licked their paws, and smiled happily, remembering the divine taste of Roquefort, Camembert, Chèvre, Feta, Mozzarella, Emmental, Cheddar, Gouda, Parmigiano, Monterey Jack, and, of course, a crisp, airy baguette. Poor Matt! Those mice and rats are always causing trouble for us cats. They wouldn't have stood a chance if I were on duty. Nope, not on my watch. Anyway, it's about time for my snack. Until next time, my young story timers. This is Mr. Whiskers saying meow and good night. <laughs>